got no service here, so that kind of sucks, but uh, I wouldn't call it a harsh. Uh, that's, that's, even then, it's like, Australia doesn't have servers either, because we, we use Oceana. Yeah. Australia yeah, yeah, doesn't, doesn't have dedicated servers. You have Fortnite servers. Did we win Minecraft server? No, you have the servers in Sydney. Completely separated from no, the Oceana servers. Okay. And also a place yeah, that commonly gets confused with Australia. A, yeah, if because o it's already, Oceana. We are not the same. Yeah. But it has server, the server is, is in general video. Oceana, yeah. which is I everywhere in Oceana. Sure yeah, but you, you guys, it's in Sydney, so you get more gamer pink. living in New Zealand. Yeah. You know what? Let's start with the positives. Okay. Not Positive. that there is that many, but hey, number one. What? Po you think? You said that, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about the positives, even though there's not that many, mate. Okay. What is the positives, friend? What is the positives? Um, what even are the negatives? There's no, there's no positive. Negatives. New game before every other country. I mean, no, that's not always the case. It is. Not always. No. Not, uh, uh, New Zealand and Australia get everything first when it comes no, to no. releases of new stuff. No, it depends. It really, it really depends. There's two types of releases: if it's local time or global time. Yeah. Yeah, well, when it can't, yeah, well, if it's global, then it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, I don't think. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's only certain, certain like companies too. Like if it's one of the states, we're definitely not getting it first. If it's somewhere in Asia, we we'll probably will get it first. In New Zealand, so like before with anyone ZZZ, else in the world. It was a and this is actually pretty cool. But the yeah, so it doesn't matter. It's New Zealand. Yeah. It's, it's either, either we get it first or everyone gets it first. All the time zone. Yeah. So yes. either way, we're getting it New first. New Year's happens to us. Oh, yeah. also oh, yeah. it rough. Ah, uh, okay, out, like, okay. I see. I see where he's coming from because. We were in the third of the um, time zone list for for midnight for midnight releases, so I can get, I get where he's coming from now. We are in the future, but this is yeah we're in cool. the future. I remember, mean, especially growing up when the new Call of Duty when, would um, come out or whatever, we could actually play it first because a lot of games actually come out at different I think times it was per Infinity country. War end game so got spoiled for Americans because Australia for example, got it first. But it'll be for that specific country. So this means if like the new COD, for example, comes out at midnight for New Zealand, we're going to be able to play it first compared to people... I'm not going to lie, who gives a shit about Call of Duty... Who gives a shit about Call of Duty Black Ops 6, let's be honest. I mean, it's just a general example, I'm assuming. Yeah. In the US, who get it at midnight their time. In a way, we're yeah, playing it before so anyone else in New the New Zealand world. and Australia Number two, just get Number two. positive of being yeah. a gamer in New is Zealand the is the friends you make but through gaming are actually a lot more likely to become real life like friends. For us. Okay, I so, mean, yeah, the time sucks, but so, it still doesn't matter so, because we're still getting yeah, it so, same time. So, so, same time. So the second re reason why positive is easy to make friends in real life. What? <laughs> That's what he's plus. One just... Uh, it's, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of true. But How is that a, like, that's not a gaming positive, that's just like, being social because yeah. you're not on your computer game. Yeah. Extra gaming that, that's are actually stupid. a lot more likely <laughs> to become real life friends. Because New Zealand there's is no, so there's like small, no, there's like barely any positives, you just play in a but there's like no and, negatives. You, know, you talk in like, voice chat or whatever, or you yeah. join someone's party. There's and this whole, and what PG said about servers being in Australia, close to where you are. if way back like, in the day of when being I was still in, like, in New Zealand, Zealand. I was playing, it, I think it, was it, was just, it doesn't even matter because most people have it was maybe like two or three of us, anyway. and we were doing yeah. the hype. It's just that PG, you live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Back in the OG days of GTA Online, you had to have a full four-player team to actually start a heist. You couldn't do it with less than So you just had dog shit. We were just inviting randoms because we didn't have anyone to play with. So I think we just needed one person to yeah, kind of. You'd be spying over like fucking 300 pings on the so, so your example is really weird your example is his example is oh if you it's easy to make friends online so, what that's, that's literally just the whole thing's like you can make friends online and they might become real life friends because we're in the same country yeah but that's the same with any one because you join in the same I, I, I guess it's, be, it's because New Zealand's quite mm. small yeah, but that doesn't mean you're always I mean, playing online games. You're gonna yeah. have <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean everyone's like near each other. Like I'm not about to drive like five hours down the road just to see someone. <laughs> like, oh. you know, well, this is not gonna go well. You know, I'm you sorry, know but your example is shit. To your game. You just <laughs> That's a terrible example. For example well. is that especially a lot of the time uh, you can't even talk to you them. They might not have a mic. I said you can see on the comms as well. You can touch grass. <laughs> We invite this random to the game, and he's positive. actually talking in game chat. We what fucking up. water bottle was that? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to the next example. Pretty cool benefit. 
In the la- hey. last positive I've got. Well, he's only got three positives. No, honestly, trust me, I did try okay. and think of a lot of positives. Your negatives. But this is kind of when you beat an Australian person, you can't be different for your life. Oh, no. okay. oh, it's okay. almost like we're in the same <laughs> fucking server region. You could go back. You can go back at time zone and say to strangers, "Go, I, I'm from the future." That is also true. I'm from the future. Were you? Yeah, you... But no one gives a shit. No, <laughs> no. It's not a positive. It's, it's actually less flex. likely to experience <laughs> less server issues from high player counts. That's his third op- a positive. Less server issues from high player count. Well, that's just not true. <laughs> it kind of makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Have you seen DVD servers? They're terrible. Player count, like, yeah, server really server connection on the game. issues with big games. It really depends on the game. It does, it really depends on the game. The nah, DVD just genuinely sucks. People playing on them. So, <laughs> DVD is bad. Well, if it's a game, like, for I'm example, more like referring to it, it's like a smaller game. Out, oh, of course, uh, why would, of course, like, like, no one. of course he has GTA as an example. The thing is, let's be honest, if you, you play GTA roleplay, you're a fucking weak loser. Alright? You're playing roleplay in a game. You're playing real life in, real life in a game. There's plenty of GTA servers. Yeah, as I said, I'm sorry if you play if you play GTA uh, GTA, uh, GTA roleplay, you are a fucking loser. All right, you, you really are. Yeah. Like, if you want to socialize, go go outside. <laughs> touch grass. She has fandom touch. She does not like being touched. All right, but, but, but I'm moving on because this is piss- that's pissed me off. All right. Australia, which is fair enough, but this also leads me into the next negative of being a gamer in New Zealand. Oh wait, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed the first negative. Oh my god, I missed, I missed the first negative. Dude, let's get into the negatives. Okay. And spoiler alert, there's Here's one. the negatives, the first guys. one is, it's impossible to find any lobbies on old games. Because they're old games. You can't, you can't most lobbies you, you can't find old games here because they're old games, they're shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. It's hard to find lobbies in old games. Oh, duh, because no one's fucking playing them. Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, it might be harder. But, like, it's harder everywhere because no one's playing that shit. How? How? I want to play Quake 4 with my friends, but I can't find a server. I'm trying to play the original first Black Ops game, but I can't find a server. No shit, no one's playing that shit, bro. Everyone's playing Black Ops 3. I only... Oh, you bl- I mean, Wait, like, <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Especially on console. So I'm a console yeah. player, and I've made it known before that Call of Duty Black Ops Three is my. Yeah, but favorite. nobody plays Black Ops Three because it's an old game. I mean, no, people still do play Black Ops Three. Yeah, it's pretty. Popular. Oh no, because they came, they came, they they ported it, didn't they? It's a new port. It's a, they've ported it up then, though. No? I have no idea. I don't keep up with Call of Duty. I know, never why. Alright, I'm just going to the next example because I've already had enough of this shit. To the next negative. Next negative. Being a gamer in New Zealand. And that's that the connection or ping is terrible when playing with people outside of New Zealand and Australia. Our connection is bad if we play with overseas players. No fucking shit. No shit. Well, to be fair, either your friends, the people, your online fri- online friends that are in the states, are uh, gonna be in the states, are gonna have the bad ping, or you play on their server and you have bad ping. It, it, it is what. No, to be fair though, like if you're in the states, it's like easier because there's like more servers that are closer. Well, the states, like, well, I mean, not to mention that the states has like fucking like triple the amount of people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I was in the states, the the, the internet was insanely good. In San Diego, I, I went to Australia, Australia last year. I, I, like I couldn't, even, I mean, not even the mall internet had a fucking had good internet. Yeah. Mall internet always fucking sucks. Not in the states, it was, like, it was fantastic. The heck? Mm. Okay, okay, this is probably his. Okay, I'll give him, I'll give him his due. That this is actually a decent point. 
Australia. And it's just because we're so far away from like every other country in the world. If we do find a lobby, obviously it won't be like a New Zealand hosted lobby. But if we do find a lobby where the servers hosted well, what somewhere games else are you in playing? the world, our ping is going to be terrible. You can't even compete. What, yeah, well, what like, games you know, are you those playing that has bad ping? Those kinds of games. You're going to be playing. Dude is playing like the most retro games that we have fucking like Americans and, and Asians playing and complaining about this the ping. Kind of ties into oh, the next okay. Oh, three? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe speed. don't play the fucking game if there's no goddamn servers in Oceania. Internet in New Zealand is still behind. Uh, absolutely crap compared to overseas like the US. So the main complaint it's having is that like it's just internet bad because people play because I play in I mean, not Oceania servers. I mean to be fair, I think New Zealand internet is a lot better than Australian internet. Like Australian internet is garbage. We I think we have better internet. Yeah. Australian internet is terrible. I just mm -hmm. got. I'm just lucky and just have good ping. Uh, the thing is, they can. Like my, my download speed is horrible. Well, the stupid thing is, they can fix our internet if they just fix the freaking internet line going between boat bo from North Island to the South Island. It will boost. It will boost it by like a hundred percent. If we fix that line, it goes underwater. But they won't do it because government don't want to pay for it. Like, I mean, I, I to be honest, I think our internet's pretty okay. To be honest, I mean, I it mean, it really depends where you are. Yeah, really. Man, man, man must live out, live out in the in, like we, like in freaking a, a farm area. Yeah, he lives. He's my neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> damn with his damn internets. I thought I was earlier was on earlier today. Oh yeah. Matt, New, Zealand New Zealand has come a long way. way. We used to be pretty bad with our internet speed. Yes, I don't know speed used to be crap. Obviously, we've had that for a long time. But Not gonna lie, the it's getting to a point where I might reinstall Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 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 like, that's how bored I am. Cool kind of internet speeds here. So these are like the typical yeah, speeds Yeah, honestly, DVD, oh, you were fun, today. but I think I'll come... Another oh, negative. Because DVD's coming out tomorrow. Alright, alright, here's a... Man's got a f man's got a fourth negative. Now it's not even on my list, but the internet fourth? Is, dude, he's already he hasn't cooked with any of them. Limited limited internet access in rural areas. Well, that is true. I'll give him that. That is actually yeah. that is actually. I'll he's actually. I mean, that's that's not not to be that guy, but it's also true in Australia. Yeah, I mean, rural internet. Rural, uh, rural areas are anywhere. You're not gonna have good internet. No, it's just how it is. Yeah, like. You know, he's like, don't live in a rural area. Full stop. Yeah, but it's kind of hard. I know, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I don't understand that, but I, I you just got, you got to do what you got. I'm wrong. Oh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but, um, a so I think Sydney was declared like the most the unaffordable city to oh live in. Oh my right Jesus now. Christ! He's gone with he's, he's got a he's got a fifth negative. Jesus Christ! He's, he only he's gonna get three positive, but he's got nearly a billion negatives. Holy shit! Is when gaming events happen, especially like outside of New Zealand, and as well as DLCs. And so stuff, live events in DLC at inconvenient for times. For so what, like cons and shit. So, so like. So like cons and like DLC drop, like DLC drops. I mean, what does, it, what does it mean by DLC drops? What the so, fuck does that mean? So like you know how they like Hong Kong has a special live stream, and he's saying it, it's an inconvenient times. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, I, why, is it, why is it called DLC times? Just call it and like just call it game announcements. Game announcement. Fuck. Yeah, well, live events slash he called it live events. DLC. DLC. That's not what DLC is, bro. No. DLC is. Additional content I mean, to added be, onto the game well, that you purchase. But again, that's really depends on what games you're you, you playing. If like there's a Call of Duty announcement, yeah, of course it's going to be like in American times, it's going to be like three o'clock in the morning. I, so mean, I mean, the time is annoying, but it doesn't really matter. It, it, I mean, it, it just you just got to, you don't have to you can watch it after you know, when you wake up, you know. I mean, exactly. that one's I mean, like, that one's one of those things that's going to be always inconveniencing someone. They're not going to be able to ever get it to be. No, no. As I said, it, it's always going to be shit for somebody. As that it again, if there's something you if you actually really, something you're really into, you'll stay up for it. If not, then wait till wait tomorrow and watch <laughs> it. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> you don't give a shit. They just wait until the morning. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they just don't watch it either way. But it always be spoiled by the Twitter and the internet. How, then don't go on Twitter. Yeah. He's stupid. 
I guess it like, still kind of just like ruins the experience of not being able to like enjoy a wireless life with like the rest I of mean, people. I mean, yeah, but if you really cared, if you really cared, you would stay up for it. And if you if yeah. it doesn't matter, to you, you would you would just want it. doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah well, but, I, well, I guess like if you're working and you've got to go to bed, or if you've got like kids and stuff. So that, that, and again, it's like one of those things you can't. Please well, everyone. no, you can't. Is it the, the, the game can be not going to change for one person? No. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I understand the cons complaint though, where there's no conventions or anything. That that is a, that is honestly a, a negative. Yeah, because conventions are really fun. I'm in the US. Mm -hmm. Not a massive one, but it's still a little Ooh. bit annoying because you know there's nothing like watching mm. something live. Another negative of oh, being a game. Oh my god! How many negatives do you have, bro? Met in New Zealand is there's actually there's so a bit many, of a like, stigma with negative stigma. Gaming. Negative stigma to one of them. <laughs> negative stigma towards gaming. Well, no, that's not true. What? There's not. A, there's no negatives. To neg there's, there's really isn't that much negative. I don't think there is. Not anymore. Not not anymore. What does he mean by negative stigma? Like what? Like people hate New Zealanders or something? No, no. People hate gaming in New Zealand. I don't think. Yeah, I hate gaming. People are games. Dude. Do you, what? bro? Bro's obviously never seen New Zealand. Is, okay. Does this dude live in New Zealand? It was like, like everybody talks about game, games. <laughs> His parents didn't like gaming, and just that everyone hates gaming in New Zealand. I feel like mummy and daddy, mum and daddy took the Xbox off me. He said no games for me. Oh, New Zealanders I'm don't my, like. Mum and dad said it was running my brains, so therefore everyone thinks it's running my brain. I feel like that's the same as everywhere, though. Like, there's always going to be a group of people who think people who game. Yeah, yeah. that's not a New Wasting Zealand exclusive thing. None of these are New Zealand exclusive things. No, they're, they're not. Yeah. But hey, we're getting there. Now, the next negative uh, is it's also uh, hard to find friends in real life that also have uh, less, no gamer, less gamers in New Zealand. That is your seventh negative. Bro, how, there. How is that a negative? What? Sam, you obviously don't know New Z like any. Go online, go to Twitch. There's so many New Zealand streamers out there. You can find. I can name like ten, like ten or twelve. He's he's like just talking about huge bigger ones. Yeah. It's like well, yeah, obviously they're not going to get big if you're not supporting yeah. the smaller ones. But there's like exactly. but again, there's like I can name three big New Zealand streamers. Alright. <laughs> Like Prolin, you got Meow Sparky. You've got Blaine the Robot. You've got you've got Cassie. Like there's so many big New Zealand streamers. The freaking Tim Tim is like I only know I only know one of them, but it's because I I haven't bothered to search for New Zealand streamers because I don't really yeah. watch streamers. Or I used to, I, if you look, I know all I know I I I used to know all the New Zealand streamers. Like, as like we're all mates. <laughs> we're all mates. Yeah. Like I've been to like like the New Zealand streams um um hangout. Like they do have like every day we do arm again. We have a New Zealand streams hangout in town. I mean a whole bunch of New Zealand streamers. Like just yeah. and like there's not as much like let's go find you can find most. New, I mean we haven't done it. Nobody's done shit for in forever since COVID, but. No, it's. I mean, I mean, I guess you would say it's. Lit, it's harder to find these young streamers now because we sort. Of, everybody sort of like to go in their separate ways when COVID happened. But there's still there's still like gamers out there. It's also not that hard, just to like <laughs> do research and find them. Oh god, he's got another. He's got another fucking negative. Bro's got bro and ham on the negatives. I think in that regard. Okay, the last negative. Now this one was mentioned earlier in the actual intro okay. of this video, but everyone loves to think for some reason that New Zealand and Australia are in the same place. They are not. That's not a. Ne that's not what? really. <laughs> what's that related to gaming? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's that related to gaming though? It just sounds like he surrounds himself with a bunch of retards. <laughs> like no, that's not true. Not another <laughs> reason why New Zealand sucks. You know, rage baits are mostly <laughs> believable. This ain't it, bro. No. So, what you're saying is you only play with Americans? 
you only play. He only plays the people who don't live in fucking New Zealand and Australia that like, complains when there's no New Zealander players. So you, you, oh, maybe play with them. So no, no, yeah. no. Idea. So you, what you're saying is you you have American friends and they moan at you that your internet shit and like you sound Australian, <laughs> pretty much. And you and you Australians, Australians and New Zealanders don't even sound that much alike. No, they don't. There's a there's a clear like difference. I'll, I'll, I would but say Americans. Oh, America. I don't know. Yeah, but, but, I mean, no, no, don't get me. Well, like hear me out. Hear me out. I was, in, I, I was in the state. I was in the states. Only one person knew I was from New Zealand. So I thought I, they. First of all, they thought I was from the UK. Um, somebody thought I was. From the UK. Somebody thought I was from Germany. <laughs> what? Because you're bloody Nazi. I'm like, I'm not even. I'm not even from Germany. <laughs> call me like I call a Nazi. What the. <laughs> Like, bloody, I, I thought, I, like, I think I, I, what was the other, I did, I did get a few times Australian. The best one, the best one goes, oh, you're from the UK, right? From England. Said, no, we're from New Zealand. So it's close, close enough. No, no, it's not. Same, back, same, <laughs> same uh, origin, but, uh... but not even close. When, whenever when... I tell other streamers that I am from New Zealand, they like, holy moly. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're New Zealander? Yeah. Oh my god, New Zealand, bro! I'm not surprised when people say they're from New Zealand. I'm like, oh okay. I just call them a fucking kiwi and just like a or a, rat, or a sheep fucker, just to mess with them. I think it's funny. I'm not shocked though. Yeah. Bro, your your negatives are not even negatives. It just your you, these are pet, these, personal gripes he's got. These, these are cons one. These are pet peeves. These are pet peeves. <laughs> these are so nitpicky. Bro, you this is so shit. <laughs> this whole list this is, is so most, this is the most nitpicky list I've ever seen. Uh, what are the comments like? Oh, I don't know. I always find out. Honestly, speechless with an amount of views and love I've got. A oh, this is him. <laughs> Who are you from, New Zealand? Well, your English is pretty good. Cheers. <laughs> 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 That's good. Like, bro, there's ain't no way people actually agree with like more than two of these points. No. If people agree with like majority of these points, I'm sorry, but you're not. You think you're special, and you're not. How? Like, some of his points make sense, but they're not New Zealand exclusive, no, no, and a lot of them no, can't be resolved because they're not New Zealand points. I mean, the only one I can agree with is the con one, where it's the, like, no Oh my god, this there's comment, there's this there. comment, new release is coming out with, like, 20, $120 to $130 on console. That I agree with. Oh yeah, the pricing is, like, ridiculous. That is the... And I'm so surprised that wasn't a negative, because that <laughs> makes more sense than any yeah. fucking thing he said. <laughs> Bro, didn't even mention money pricings. Oh my god. Oh, if I don't know if this is such a thing as much as like in the gaming community, but like I know with like a lot of artists I listen to, they will release like exclusive merch that you can't get in New Zealand. So like if there's like exclusive game, like physical games content, I doubt. I doubt. I. It's not really like that. No, I don't I know. Even... A, lot, a lot of gaming stuff are like. I think it's every. I don't know any sort of gaming thing that's like exclusive to one country. Maybe like yeah. Japan. <sighs> But like even then, yeah. nine times out of ten, it's like, the, people will just resell that shit anyway. But I'm gonna be honest, this yeah. guy, bro did not cook with this video. No. I'm I'm gonna be honest. You, your points make no fucking sense. I mean, I think I agree with like maybe two, and that's the rural area one, and also, I guess the inconvenient but, <laughs> inconvenient times for like um, live events. The rural one is such like a worldwide thing too, because I'm guessing it's the same in the states too. If you live in the middle of fucking nowhere, mm. you're gonna have shit internet. Yeah, yeah. That's just, it's just it's just how it is. If you live rural, oh. expect shit internet. Yeah, and that's again, even the the rural one's not even as you say, it's not even a New Zealand exclusive thing. But I, I the yeah. I guess so. The only one he really got is the inconvenient times and live events. I mean, that's just life. Like. <laughs> As yeah, it, it does. It does suck. The con cons are really fun. I like yeah. going to them. There's but, like plenty in Sydney all the time. But but most lo mo most lobbies in old games are empty. Yeah, no shit because they're in because they're no old games. But, like guys, you're, you're oh. 
This, this is actually pissed me off. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Old games have no lobbies? What? That's such a weird concept. <laughs> Like, yeah, because they're old games. Games only have a, a life expectancy of probably like a, two years at, at best, unless they're an online game. Yeah. I mean, oh, he's clearly talking about online games with this. Uh, it's quite obviously he only plays like Call of Duty, like um, CSGO. Not CSGO, um, C. He, yeah, he, he does give off first person vibes. First person shooter vibes, and plus. GTA, obviously GTA. <laughs> I mean, that's all, that can also be a first-person shooter. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you're playing those sort of games, yeah, I guess that your points kind of make sense. But, like... The GTA lobbies aren't even bad, and this is coming from someone who's played GTA. They're not yeah, bad. I, if you're playing on PC, I guess, it might be, it might be an issue. Then, I, I've known oh. people who play GTA on PC, and they've had no problem. Yeah, really... And they they play their role playing shit too. Yeah, but as I said, it depends. The pe depends. It really de it just really depends on the server you're, you're on too. Bro needs to branch out and meet more people. Yeah, like no touch grass. Go meet people. Go go on Twitch and le actually learn. There's actually other there's other New Zealand gamers out there slash streamers. It's kind of insulting of him to just say, "Oh, there's like no New Zealand streamers" because he. He's well, like he, not well, well, he's not saying there's no New Zealand. He's not saying there's no New Zealand streamers. He says there's no New Zealand. There's barely any New Zealand. No he, big. Well, no, obviously no big. I mean, but there is. He just obviously clearly doesn't give a shit. Yeah. To actually look into it. There's no big streamers in the gaming sphere that he likes. No. They don't play the games that I like to play. They don't, don't play the games I like, therefore they're irrelevant. No. Well, then he can he can easily just turn around and then that space since there's no one in that space then. Yeah, well, well the, the you go, mate. Yeah, that's your street. That, that, that's your niche. I mean, or he hangs out in a dead space and is like complaining that there's no one in the dead space. <laughs> well, like, well, when you fill the dead space, what? like <laughs> if the lobby's a dead place, something else, bro. Like Jesus Christ. Okay, um. Well, this is a, this is gonna be an interesting video. That they edit. Don't come to my house, or else I'll suck your dick. Uh, blood. I'll suck your blood. <laughs> oh shit.